Hello everybody, my name is Nick Tenevis and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my personal Minecraft survival multiplayer server because I want to get into more Minecraft content and this server's been up for over a year and it's just been a really fun thing that we that I've just been playing on um, on and off, just building up and it's just been, it's, it's, it's been a really fun experience. I love it and i decided to make start making youtube videos about it because i'm doing youtube now and i want to get into minecraft content so we're gonna i'm just gonna take you around a tour of the server today we're gonna actually be doing um actual stuff um in weeks later but anyway yeah this is week one next to nebus smp and also keep in mind that this is the average view duration of my videos and this is the percentage of people who watch my videos that are actually subscribed so if you enjoyed the video please like comment share this content with all your friends and we're really close to 100 subs so make sure to subscribe with notifications on now let's get into it Yeah, so we logged on to this SMP. I'm hosting this server with Shockbite, and I actually only recently, in like months past, started hosting this server uh, with Shockbite so that I, I could play with um, a few more of my friends. But like everyone that's on the server, um, the server actually started, let me give you a bit of history. The server actually started, it started over a year ago, it was back in 2020. Yeah, I think this, this server came out, I, I think we made this server just about at the same time Dream the dream smp was made so this server is as old as the dream smp definitely not as active definitely not as many players and there's no lore but this server is about is, is, is as old as the dream smp and it started in the snapshots of 1.16 and it, and it just started as um a world that i was hosting on my computer that me and my sibling could play together on because we've never we wanted to play minecraft together on multiplayer like we well, like we've been doing single player we've been playing single player for years and years like since 2015 basically since we since i first got minecraft but we never played with each other so we decided we wanted to make this server and we wanted to make a bunch of stuff on it and most of the stuff you see here we did on our own but then i started hosting it on shockbite so that two more of my friends who play minecraft um can come on and they're and they're like really close friends they're like they're like irl friends that we've had that we met in person that we've we're like we know them pretty well and so yeah the server's not i'm probably not even going to open the server to any of my other friends and it's definitely not going to be a public server this is not like the dream smp so yeah no 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 one's joining the server it's just a very very private server very like yeah i'm just going to give you a tour i'm going to give you a tour and so I think uh, we came, spawn is that direction. So we came away from over there and there's like a village over there. So basically what we did, like the first thing we did on the server is, well, once we're from spawn, we were like, okay, we're gonna beat the game. And then we beat the game. And back then I was not very good at beating the game. So it took a long time and <laughs> it took a lot of effort and it was not very fast. It was very slow way of beating the game. I think the first thing we did is we set up base in here because desert, lava pools, we like that. And actually we built this house after we beat the game. But anyway, this is super nice. My sibling made this, um, it's super nice. We're probably gonna get um, some people, some other people on here to play probably for extra content. I have, a, I have two cats, I have Savannah and Midnight. They're nice cats, hello, Savannah and Midnight, how you doing? That's nice to hear. Anyway, so yeah, we've got storage. Um, the storage has been expanded. Obviously, it used to only be like eight barrels or like ten barrels, but now it's like a lot more. Um, I'm gonna show you our old house. This is where this is our house. We use this like every day. Our beds are in there and all. Our old house. We used to have it in this cave. This was like before we beat the game. Whoopsies. And uh, we had we had it in this cave, and this is our like old chests. Um, actually, my sibling still has some stuff in here. Um, this is like like a long time ago this is where our beds were and they're actually the same beds we use up there we just transferred them these are used to be our like old mines down here yeah i got i'm like pretty stacked i mean if you look at my under chest i mean i got all this stuff i got full enchanted everything i have a book of enchantments i have the dragon egg i have i have enchanted gapple i have oh my god the first time we went to the end we tried to we tried to collect some dragon breath because we knew it'd be used for like lingering potions and we tried to what do we do oh yeah we tried to go to the end islands and find like shulkers and elytras but we ended up dying because i wasn't really good at minecraft and the pearling just messed up and then i died first because i missed a pearl and then um diamond gas my sibling died later um so yeah that really didn't work out and we lost like all our stuff so we lost the dragon's breath we collected we lost the dragon egg but i mean we still got the achievements so i mean that's what matters really so yeah this is a mine we start i started this mine a long time ago um 
if you look at it's a hundred blocks in every direction a hundred blocks and actually there's 200 blocks this direction because i'm expanding it past what i used to so yeah i'll go into spectator and i'll show you exactly how big this is look at all this and most of this i did before i had a diamond pickaxe most of this oh whoops most of this i did before i had a diamond pickaxe it goes so far it goes all the way back here it goes like it goes like halfway to spawn look that's the wall it goes past the wall it easily it's past the wall it look look at this is the wall you thought that was a big area yeah the mines are bigger look at all this 100 blocks in every direction from this point and then blue ice out here then 100 blocks that way 100 blocks that way and i started refining my mining techniques so i started using longer passages it collects less stone but it's better for um it's better for ores a lot of the stone we've used is has come from or i know i'm cheating but like this is for the purpose of showing you i mean it doesn't really matter i don't cheat really here this is a no cheat zone yes over here so you see, there so everywhere where there's stone and sandstone you see that that was a mountain and it was taller than i think i can show you how tall it is over here if i go over here if i go over here i think i can show you how tall it is oh never mind it's mined away <laughs> see all that stone this th all this stone all this stone look at that this is the pro we're in the process of mining this away as well i got a beacon i beat the wither it was so easy it gives us haste to mine away the stone easier everywhere you see that stone stone went all out to here all out to here all out to here and all this in here it's all it was all a mountain and it was all that high and we mined it all just to build the wall it was insane i mean i don't think i have like pictures or screenshots but yeah we've done an insane amount of stuff on uh, uh, um, this area though this plains uh, actually it's just not plains of savannah and this desert it's about the same as it was and a lot of this stuff like we have a tree farm here that some new person that a new person to the server new person and this is a bee farm that i made to build this little wall thing um i watched a mumbo jumbo video on how to do this pretty cool piston wall and this is all um andre's work that's the person who that's another person that was on a new person this is the tree that we've kept this is the, like the holy tree it like we mined it down and we mined all the trees in this area but we i missed a log i think it was me who mined it down i missed one log up there and most of the leaves have stayed and we just kept that and we just kept that there um that's a cobblestone generator that we haven't used because we're trying to get the mountains out of the way um and then this is the stuff this is the enchanting area that i made to get all of this it's been expanded a lot by um andre andre's done a lot of work on this server um this is the I found a mine shaft with a spider spawner, so this is all my work. It has an on and off lever that you can turn it on and off to toggle the spotter spawners, and you can't pick up the XP unless you're in this block right here. So you can pick up the XP, or if you and if you don't want to pick up the XP or get hit by the spiders, because you can get hit by the spiders here, you can just flip that, and you won't be able to pick up the XP. And we got like a massive like ravine system that's all mined out. This is like the entrance to like a mine shaft. Um. Yeah, I've gone over here and mined out a lot of, like, iron and stuff throughout the whole, like, mine shaft. So, like, it's been picked clean, basically. I was building a uh, XP farm, an automatic XP farm from, like, Avacast or something? I don't know. Avamancer? I think that's the person that um, I watched the tutorial of. It's, like, bamboo and cactus farm. Um, but uh, it was... It had, a, it had a problem with it, so it's it was glitched. So I took it all down. Um, and I'm going to rebuild the new version, because he made a new version. And this is all the materials from it. You got so many mine carts, so many mine carts, so many hoppers, and that drained so much of the iron. Like all the iron that came from like maybe like three quarters of mining underground, it all got put into that, and it all just got used up super fast. Of course, some of it went into like tools, like iron pickaxes before we had diamond to like mine all the stuff. And yeah, but now we have an iron farm because I built it because I was like, oh, this is stupid. And then Andre built a collection system under it. But um, yeah. Um, I'm the only one with full OP, by the way. This is random thing. We found a jungle recently. And then the nether. I also conquered an ocean mon. I just randomly, you know, conquered an ocean monument just in my spare time. <laughs> I was almost gonna, like, post a, just like a calm video of, like, me, uh, beating the ocean monument. But I decided not to, because, uh, whatever. I don't care. I want to make gates. Also, I want to make gates like this to, like, all the entrances. 
and like all the different sides of the, the place. Yeah, this is uh, the nether portal we made out here because we found a lava pool. There's actually a closer lava pool, but um, we decided to make it out here. Uh, I don't know why. There's a village over there that we got a bunch of resources from. We did pearl, tr uh, we did pearl trades. That was before I realized. That was before I was big on speed running. I mean, like I was still pearl trading in 1.16. Yeah. Um, since we we've, we've since built all these pathways, and I'm gonna kind of show you where they lead. This one up here is the first path we made it. We're kind of like just trying to find we found so many fortresses by the way um, the first fortress we came to uh, Before we made this path I had to like memorize the way to the fortress like every time I wanted to go there But this is the fortress. Yeah, we have like five fortresses in this world. It's like insane It's like ridiculous RNG for fortresses. We're so lucky. I want to eventually make a gold farm on the nether roof probably at um, Probably at the, like the nether uh, probably at, like the nether spawn the nether portal so that we can have an infinite supply of those gapples. See, I'm like saving my only gapples. Like I have like four, I used to have like seven, but I have like four gapples just from like chests from like early in the game and I've never used them. Cause it's, I mean, now that I have full OP, I never really need them. Like even with the wither, I just, I don't know. I had some health pods, but I didn't really use them. The wither was easy. Path goes up here and it branches off and there's a fortress down this way. Um, you probably, you can't see it from here. And then the path goes on and the path ends right there though i'm planning to continue it eventually just as more exploration i built a little staircase to go up just in case i fell like my friends like my friends um like the other people on the server i'm better i'm uh, I'm, I'm 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 trying to brag i'm not trying to brag um they're 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 epic people and they and they and they really help out on the server and they do a lot but i'm better than all of them at pretty much anything in Minecraft except maybe except maybe like building design like my siblings pretty good at that and I think Andre is and Andre is really good at like making machines but like they're all from tutorials anyway so I mean I mean it's not like anything I build is not from a tutorial but I'm like I'm like way better at PvP I've been grinding PvP for the past I've been grinding PvP ever since I um looked at dream grinding 1.8 grinding 1.16 um, practicing jitter clicking. I've done everything except for install a hack client and join 2B2T, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually pretty decent at um, sword and axe PvP, just with like diamond, like basic PvP, like iron armor, diamond armor, bows, stuff like that. A little rusty with the lava buckets, you know? So in the other way, the other way we got even better stuff. This is actually, this path is actually more used. I built it more recently and it's more used because it's more useful. I pulled right onto the baby piglin, lol. Get out. Spam click that bitch. All right, so down here. Oh, and I found a bastion too. Um, for a long time, uh, my sibling wanted to find a bastion to get the piglin snout banner to use for a piglin snout pattern to use for like a banners they're building. Um, and the bastion is down this way, down this thing. I mean, that's not really remarkable. I just went through and cleared it all. Like through here, I think this is the jungle. And actually, I don't think I've made a path to the stronghold. I see, this is the jungle out here. We found a jungle. This is actually where I beat the wither. Um, it's like down the way. Oh, someone built a path here. Oh, looks like he got blown up and then someone built it. That wasn't me, by the way. Uh, once something that happened really recently, we're trying to make a slime farm. People are trying to make a slime farm. Like one of my other friends was trying to make a slime farm and they followed a tutorial to make one. Uh, I'm not helping out with this one because I don't care. They asked for the seed and then unknowingly I gave it to them before realizing that like the seed is can be kind of a way to cheat and take the fun out of playing the game because it's with the seed you can find like you can find like everything. You can find like strongholds, you can find nether fortresses, you can find and like the whole discover and at that point like the whole discovery aspect of the game is like pretty much ruined it's pretty much ruined because because like you know basically where all the structures are like you know like the location of literally everything including slime chunks and i mean because they'd already located the slime chunks and started working on it i um i told them yeah you can go ahead and like build the slime farm here because i think you can you have to have ought to find the seed of course so they couldn't find this. I'm the only one with op on the server. Yeah, I asked them not to use the C for anything else because it can really ruin. Uh, take it. Take it can really take the fun out of the game if you just know the C and then you can put it just into chunk finder and find like every single thing. 
and like this is all the stuff they've been smelting all the i don't know why they're not using so they don't they just don't have silk touch they haven't put in the time to get silk touch so they're using up um a lot of unnecessary fuel to smelt all this cobblestone into smooth stone because they want to make it out of stone brick for some reason I mean, if I wasn't using silk touch, I'd just use cobblestone slabs, but whatever, it's their thing. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, and it's like really a it's really like a peaceful server. It's just like it's like no PvP. Um, we've only done I've only done like organized PvP like once. Once or twice. We were trying to see like who's better at PvP, me or Andre, which is the guy that I told you did a lot of work on the server and that built that's building the slime farm. Um we did a sumo match on top of a mushroom house that um my sibling built. And I won the sumo match, obviously. I mean, it's not 1.8 sumo. I've never done 1.16 sumo, but I mean, it's literally the same concept. It's literally like sword PvP, just time your hits and stuff. I think I was lower than he was at the end because he like ate or whatever, but I knocked him off, so it didn't matter. And then we did a, and I like, I took off all my stuff. I took off all my OP stuff and put on like iron stuff or diamond stuff or whatever. Or like we both had like iron stuff and we did a like ax and shield match. And of course I destroyed him in that, I mean, I've been grinding PvP Legacy for a long time. I have like 60% win rate or whatever, and that's from the beginning. That's not like my current win rate, I don't think. I don't think my current win rate is just about 60 anyway. Anyway, it's still it's still rising. It's still rising. I'm getting better. It's still so it's still rising. Yeah, I think so. That's like the only time I've done PvP. I haven't done PvP against my sibling. My sibling just just doesn't do PvP, and the and then my other friend, the third one to join the server, he he he's new to Minecraft. He doesn't even do PvP. He doesn't even do, he's new to Minecraft, he doesn't really do anything. Like, me and, me and my sibling, we had to, like, build up stuff from the bottom, but, like, the other two people, they just came in rich. Like, they came in, everything they needed was already there, because I'm, because we're, like, stacked, we're, like, rich in this world. There's a turtle that was built after Andre joined, maybe by, like, so this is something that Nick's built, Nick's is my sibling. And it's got Enderman blocks in it, for some reason. Oh, my thing's so OP, it's, like, destroying this stuff. So I think, yeah, we sumoed up here. We sumoed up here. There were a few, because like sumo is a more even type of thing. It's more about comboing, not about damage. So it's a little more even. We sumo just right here. Um, and I was worried for a little bit that I might get knocked off. We, we, we had sticks for the sumo, but um, yes. And of course I didn't have my thorns. I didn't have my protection. It was just, I had nothing. I just had nothing but a stick and some food. We had some food so we wouldn't like die or whatever. There's a village like about there's a village like a couple hundred like 900 blocks in that direction that i was pulling villages from to make a villager that that took a really long time um like from 900 blocks away i mean 900 blocks is like a few minutes of running right but to get a villager over it took a long time and to get multiple villages like i had to like bring two villagers over maybe three i don't know if i had three and then there's a closer village, like only a couple hundred blocks, like between the ones. But I think I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Why is there a skeleton? This is supposed to be mob proof. What? I'll just place a torch down. Yeah, I mob proofed this whole thing a while ago. I was dealing with like creeper craters and stuff. And I was like, nah, fuck this. I'm just lighting it all. I'm really proud of the server. It's really come a long way. And I've actually started playing. I just recently started playing in the last like day, like a last day or two on another server um where i'm trying to like i'm trying to like get more like I'm, I'm trying to like basically get full op i'm trying to get full op on that server and then join like a group and like have fun maybe build stuff right now i'm trying to like grind find a spawner it's like a public server that i found and it's actually pretty good i love like the rules i love how it's run not like the pvp legacy server which is like anarchy and like all hardcore like spawn is all fucked up and all that shit and they're like resetting soon like i didn't like that i left that server honestly i didn't like the people there either and it's really difficult to survive on that server but this was server they have like they have like home spawn so you can like set a spawn point like you set like a custom spawn point that you can teleport to um at any time they're like teleport commands you can set home you don't even have to set a spawn you can set home and it'll be just like there forever so if you die like i once i once like my first death on the server my first death on the server um i was changing my lunar client settings because actually that <laughs> yesterday was the first time i used lunar client for 1.16 i use lunar client for 1.8 all the time though i was in the middle of the night i was just standing there um fixing my lunar client settings and i knew i'd be attacked by mobs so and i didn't want to log out i wanted to keep it logged in so what i do oh jesus christ 
what I did is that I set my home, because you can set a custom home and then you can remove it and you can teleport to the home at any time from anywhere in the map. So what I did is I set the home exactly where I was and then didn't move. Um, I set, I had set my spawn point like somewhere else, but I set my home like right where I stood. So basically what happened is that a creeper came up behind me and I heard the creeper, but I was like, instead of like rushing and like sweating to like block my shield, um, I just let it kill me because I was like, whatever. So I let it kill me. Um, I mean, I lost some XP, but like, I don't know, it wasn't that much. I wasn't really, I mean, I, how much XP can you get really? I respawned like a couple hundred, maybe a thousand blocks back. And then I just instantly, and then I just instantly teleported back to home. And I teleported right on top of all my stuff and instantly collected everything. So, I mean, like, <laughs> it really didn't do anything. Like, I I love, I, re I really love that feature. I really love that feature. It's, like, better than keep inventory. That is where Andre lives. Andre just set up house under the, the fucking, the ha set up base under the fucking house, you know? <laughs> like, he's, like, homeless or some shit. I don't even know what this is. I think this is where Nyx keeps all their dogs, I think. Oh, there's, like, glass missing. Oh, there's a trap door. Wow. Dogs can get out of that, you know. It's got they got cats and dogs out here. Drew, Jack, Dirix, Tony, QNX. Nice, nice. I think there should be two trap doors in my opinion. Um, This video, I don't know, it might be, a, it probably won't be too long, but it might be really like slow and boring, but I just thought I'd give a background to the server because it's important to know the history. I think it's important to know the history behind a server. Like I'd want to know the history of the Dream SMP if I didn't, if I didn't start watching like the Dream SMP from the beginning, which I did. I've been watching Dream, George and Sapnap. I've been watching like 95% of their streams easily from they from when they first streamed which was on the dream smp excuse me i just want to know i just gave you a tour i, I gave you a, a little tour and a background of like basically most of the stuff we did um if it, was, if it was a little slow or a little boring um i'm sorry but i mean that's how it is tomorrow um, the next time is going to be the next time is going to be more exciting we'll be doing stuff with like netherite and like the end finding like elytras and stuff because i've held that off wanting to make a video about it and then later in the series maybe not too later but we'll probably i'll probably bring the other members of the smp on to just um hang out with and like do things together maybe not intense stuff like netherite and the end but like i don't know maybe building maybe like chill stuff i don't know feature them in the videos why not maybe teaching them pvp i don't know whatever anything and uh, whatever ideas i come up with and we decide to do anyway um yeah, this has been tour of the Nectanebus SMP, and again, this is not public, you will not be able to join, ever, but you'll be able to watch more, more, and more exciting content, Minecraft content, will be coming later in weeks to come, as well as Shellshocker's content, definitely not dropping off there. I'll see you all next week, and the next time, when we do the next Minecraft content, this has been Scuffed Outro, anyway, goodbye!